Hello, and welcome to Crunch Math. Today, we're going to be going over the keys to getting an 800 on the SAT math. This is going to be a multi-part series, but we're on step one. First, we're going over algebra with linear equations in one variable. So let's get to it. So what does this topic mean? The first part is linear equations. Linear equations are straight lines. They're just linear straight lines. And we're going to get a, have an equation with this. But first, we need to talk about variables. Variables like in this question, the variable being x, is some number that can change in the context of the problem or the equation. So when you combine these two concepts together, you get linear equations with variables, particular one variable with this. And this is where we get our y equals mx plus b. This is our slope intercept equation. m is mainly going to be our variable that's going to be changing, while b is going to be our y-intercept. Now let's move on to the types of problems. So the types of problems here, we're first going to have word problems. These are going to be divided between ones where you're looking to establish an equation and others where you're looking for a solution. Now, the next one is our short questions. We're going to be either be finding a number of solutions that an equation has, or we're going to be have problems dealing with a constant, usually known as K. So now let's get into the problems. The first type of problem we're going to go over is the word problem involving finding a solution. Pause to read this question. Okay, so once you've read this question and tried your attempt, let's go over this. We're going to use abbreviations. This 24,000 we're going to call our Y initial, so YI. Our X initial, which is going to be our time value, is going to be known as X initial, which is zero. And our five hours is going to be our X final. So let's underline that. This, this 19,000 amount is going to be our Y final, which is going to be those bushels. And this 12,800, we're going to just call, it's just some Y value. And I'm going to abbreviate it later on as Y12. And we're looking for the number of hours, which is some value X. So first we're going to determine the slope because this is all dealing with linear equations. The slope is change in Y over change in X. So it's simply going to be change in Y final, that 19,000 amount, minus y initial divided by five because that's a change in x you can plug in new um, units but it really not necessary so when you plug in and do the math you should get something along the lines of negative 930 this is our slope and now let's create a, an equation using y equals mx plus b where b is going to be that 24,000 bushels of corn okay so now you get this but we're going to plug in this 12,840 value for our y value. So now we're just changing this y to y of 12. And from here, it's just algebra. You subtract y of 12 from 24,000 and then divide it by negative 930. And we're going to get the amount of time our x value is going to be equal to 12 once you plug everything into the calculator. That's how you quickly will solve this and we're going to get d. Now let's move on to our next type of problem. This is the second word problem. So pause to read this question. Okay. Once you paused it, we're going to get started. This is involving making the equation. He drives an average of 800 miles each week, 25 miles per gallon. He wants to spend $5 bringing down his cost, but it costs $4 per gallon. So let's look at this. If you're spending $4 per gallon, that's the same as spending $4 for that 25 miles, right? And you can say this is $4, and this is going to be our miles. Now, if we look at everything, multiply by this fraction, there's going to be this M, which is how many fewer miles. Now, you can use unit conversions for this, which is the way I like to attempt it, and the way it makes sense. You see, he wants to be left with only spending $5. So whatever, he has to drive a certain amount of fewer miles to the point where this $4 for every 25 miles is equal to that $5. So this number of miles, we're going to write here. And this is all our equation is. It's very straightforward. So this is our slope right here, the 4 over 25. This M is the number of fewer miles he needs to get in order to reach that so-called y value where he's only spending five dollars this next question we're going over is now moving on to our short question section this is involving the number of solutions how many solutions it's usually one two 
infinite or zero, like these answer choices say. This is not involving a constant. So what we're going to do here is first just distribute everything. We're going to distribute this 10 to these values, and we're going to distribute this negative 15 to these values. All right. So now that we've distributed everything, you're going to see there's the same things on each side, just a different arrangement. What does this mean? This means that everything's going to cancel out. These 90s are going to cancel out, and these 150x are going to cancel out. You don't even need to figure out what x is in this problem. What this means is you're going to have 0 is equal to 0, and this means that there is no solutions to this. There's no value x that will make this correct. It's just all going to cancel out, in which you're going to have 0 solutions. There are times you're going to have infinite, exactly 1, or exactly 2. You're going to have infinite if those, these lines, these are basically just linear equations, are equal to each other. You're going to have 1 if they have different slopes, and there's going to be 2. That's more, I'd say, involving um, quadratics, in a way. For this last problem, we're going to be going over a short question involving the k constant. Pause to read. So once you pause it, let's notice some important things. There's no solution, meaning that the x values must cancel out so that there's no x involved. There's no way there's going to be multiple solutions. And we have our value k. We're, that's what we're looking for. What we're going to do instead of distributing this 3 is actually divide everything by 3. And here's where we're going to get when we do that. So once you get here, what we need to focus on is seeing that the 12 and the 13 don't really matter. We just need to focus on x. The x's need to cancel out. So you can then just set kx equals 48 over 51x. From this, you realize that k must equal our 41 over 58, but that can be simplified. And what you can simplify that down to is actually... 16 over 17 since they have three in common and that's all you have to do you just have to realize that the x is just need to cancel out very quick and easy and that's it for linear equations with one variable these are the kind of four types of problem you'll see you can get through them super fast that's from crunch math if you want more resources check out the description where you can find more practice problems thank you